The Human Centipede is a horror classic. Classic. Everyone knows it. I know it. You know it. Even the Kraken knows it. I like it. it I like it too. So when we heard there was a sequel coming out, and I know you would just like to it to exploit it for nature's, this was our reaction. <laughs> Sounds like a fever dream. And only one can imagine how people would react. One could also not tell how different this one would be from the original. Question I have to ask somebody. Have you heard of the human centipede? Yeah, you don't do that to me, but... Pretty weird. Good. The stories. Hey guys, my name's Gage, and welcome to the first episode of the Gage Show. Oh, and we're checking out the sequel. So, sequel. I had to find this on Tubi. Yeah, pretty weird to know. But hey, this film's pretty weird, so might as well just review it. This is a Human Centipede 2. To start off from where the original movie left out, it's done, and I can show you it's not sexual. The original film was medically accurate. Accurate? Yes. Possible? Not really. So yeah, they play the ending of the first film as if we don't know what's going on. Oh crap, I forgot. Let me find out the most horrifying discovery of the century. The first film was apparently just a movie. Hmm. Isn't it ironic? Because, like... What? It, I don't know promotional say it this, but why? Why? Do want to say twice makes sense, but and doing it twice also makes sense, but really we st <laughs> we're gonna start off with the original film. You no, know, to show what this movie's gonna be. Yes, yeah, it is very important. It's gotta be for this guy to be introduced. Just. But by the way, it looks like a gremlin. And some sweats. We find out that someone telling you what the fuck's going on is not funny. We also find this out. Now come on, man. Why are you swearing? She always makes a lot of sense. Is if your father kills you, who cares? You can get it tomorrow. Oh, anyways. Please. Please. You gotta be quick on your toes when this bastard's on your feet. He's he sure gonna kill you. I have a crowbar. That was my favorite way to kill. Right next to watching all Men and Stimpy episodes on DVD, you know. As soon as I got this in. What are you fuck are you looking at? Stop looking at my girlfriend, Midget! Ian, please! Fuck you fucking her? No way in hell. Hell. Oh. Hey! I know what that is! That's dog say Phil! Oh, Satan's Rails is funny! See, because uh, I have a head. What the fuck? You just call me a piece of shit? At this point, this guy has killed a man, shot a woman's leg, egg. What else is he gonna do? Give it to my taxes. <laughs> what else is he gonna Well, obviously, keep killing. What else is he gonna do? Oh, his lifestyle. I look garden. They are pretty much presumed to be knocked down. We then finding or oh, find discovery. Hmm. A really horrifying one. I swear to God. All right. All right. I 
Jason has taught me two things. One, a pillow is going to be even a healer. Uh, and two, he's already killed someone. Like, like, why? Hey. Hmm. Can you also show us how he did it? Or does it seem like he did? Maybe he had to, like, kill him with a cool bar. Alright, well, something like that. I find out that this guy not only watches the human centipede, he also likes to watch it consistently. I guess you could say an average day for a Sonic fan. And for every Chris Chan, there is there's a weird serial killer. Oh, on a loser. Particularly watch that over this. Yes. Yes, literally. Clearly, see here, uh, I he worship him, Charles Hansen. He's one of my favorite serial killers. He was. The joke is that it's terrible as. F he drives over. He's over to find out that the place has been for rent. What place? You see me ask? Really disguised fetish. Well, he's dead already! 